What's up guys, this is Jason Paul with Stinky Pants Fishing with my buddy here, Paul Martinez. We are down in Baffin Bay and we're gonna talk about some weight boxes and kind of our setup. So I'm gonna let Paul talk about his. He's kind of got a different setup than what I have and he'll show you what he's got and kind of why he's got it. All right, this one's the El Grande tackle box. I got mine set up the way I like it. It's the flow through, so you just go home, rinse it, and uh, open it up, let it air dry. Um, I usually just keep my pliers right here and my boga float right there clipped on. And I just made this quick little, I modified it a little bit because I can get my stringer with one-handed operation. I don't have to use two hands when I'm waiting. And that's about it. What with stringer this you got there? Oh, this is a, this is the 12 foot hooker, but I like mine with the small float. I just never cared for the bigger float. For a simple reason, if you're waiting, years ago, I could tell if somebody had fish, I would look to see if they had their waiter out. Well, the small float, the fish will take it under. So if people see you waiting, they'll say, oh, he ain't got nothing. And they'll just keep on going. And I notice you're using a different set of pliers, but they fit in that, uh, in the plier sheath. Yeah, these uh, Bubba blades, they work pretty good. I like them and uh, they all fit in there. I just, it's just preference. It, it starts getting down when you start modifying to how you like to fish. So you can set it up the way you want to fish, what's easier for you. All right, and I have the single, so it's a little bit smaller, and this is the uh, the waterproof. And I'm using a eight foot, the eight foot pro with the smaller float. I like that smaller float also, just it's less less bulk, you know, for packing when you're carrying it around. I have my boga uh, grips on the leash, so I got the split ring on the bottom D ring, and then I can just clip these on here. I have the the forceps that come with it, and then I also got a set of the boomerang pliers on there. So this is kind of what my setup looks like. A little bit different than Paul's, but there's a lot of ways that you can do it, uh, which is you know a great thing. Just hop on the water, throw this over your shoulder, and you're good to go. You got everything you know that you need and when you want to carry. Kind of a minimalist approach. You don't have to carry really more than you need. I feel like. Yeah, it's a lot simpler. Uh, I used to be a big fan of the wading belt, but this is just a lot easier just to grab it, jump out of the boat, and take off. You already got everything. You don't have to put nothing on. Just take off. All right, guys. We'll see you again.